Hello, everybody. Today we are going to attempt to do the Series 6 minifigure review. I picked up 16 bags. I felt up 16 bags. Hopefully, they are all 16 figures. If they are, we're going to do a quick review of all the figures. Just kind of, kind of give you an overview of all the figs, what they come with. And we'll see if all of these figures are worth it. So let's go ahead and open all these bags up. See if we got them, put them together, and see what we got. guys I did successfully get all of them all 16 figures there are plenty of really cool molds that are new with these guys really unique pieces really like this collector series so let's go ahead and get a close look at each individual one here we have the skater girl we got a skater guy a while ago so now we have the skater girl Really like the arm printing on her. Very unique printing on the arms here. Purple with black stripes. She comes with a skateboard. Really nice printed skateboard. As you can see it has skull Lego piece at the top. And then a really interesting looking heart with bat wings. Really cool torso printing. Nice pants. Very unique pants. Has this little purple stripe on her hair really like this fig for the opposite of the skater boy here we have the gray naked alien with the white laser gun that shoots out the green beam really unique head mold all one head piece has the pointy chin no pant printing no back printing very plain figure but looks really awesome. Here we have Rory, the Roman soldier. Really nice printed shield here. Very nice torso and leg printing. Very nice molded helmet. Of course, we get the Roman spear as well. A little bit of a rubber tip on that. Of course, you can see the printing on the front. A little bit of a skirt type piece here with these sandals, which is the Roman gear. No back printing whatsoever. And this really chiseled looking face. Here we have the Minotaur or the Minotaur. Has really nice printing on the legs. Has the hoof printing. Really cool molded top. The horns are detachable. So you could have a one horned Minotaur if you want. As you can see it has a nice bit of detailing on the front with the muscles. No back printing. And then this piece is just one large mold with the horns being separate very cool nice printed eyeballs very detailed sculpture from lego here we have danny zuko with a toolbox really nice red toolbox able to carry it around greased up front greased face really nice flat gray wrench here unique head mold hair piece I mean kind of looks like an Elvisy piece so a lot of people will probably enjoy this hair piece here we have a beautiful flamingo dancer really nice dress piece has back printing on this of course you get the sloped dress front really detailed printing on that you get a unique fan mold really cool printed face as well here we have Lady Liberty herself, 
looking all green and statuey. This top piece is a little bit rubbery. It's not a hard plastic piece. She comes with her torch and her book, which has July on it and the date. Really nice front printing on this figure. Really, really good representation of the actual Statue of Liberty. And we have Mr. Roboto. Really cool key piece in the back of him. Very nice, unique piece. He has a squared head. And then some detailed robotic front with some red hands. Very cool looking figure. Very nice mold on him for the key piece as well as the head. Very nice detailed printing on the legs and the torso as well. Here we have Butcher. Really unique pieces with him as well. His hat, his piece of meat, his cleaver, his butcher's knife. And for being a butcher, he is very well dressed. He's wearing a bow tie. Very nice apron. No back printing on him. Has some killer sideburns and a happy-go-lucky smile. And here we have me, the sleepy guy with the teddy bear. He's wearing some pajamas printed on the sides and back. Very nice printing everywhere. Surrounded with his striped pajamas. Of course, he is sleepwalking right now with his teddy bear. Really like his sleepy hair and his other sided face where he's just waking up. He looks very unhappy to be here today. Really amazing figure. Here we have Gray's Anatomy with a really unique x-ray brick here. Printed brick. It is a girl figure with the brand new molded head cap. Keep all that hair on her head and not in the body of someone who might be cut open. Pretty plain front has a little bit of that girlish figure on it. No back printing. Really, really like the head printing though. Very detailed with the mask to keep her diseases to herself. Here we have Dashing Juanlito, the Bandolito. Two pistols. Really detailed front printing with some ammo strapped all around him. Bandit mask and the Dashing Dark Hat. I think he looks even more dashing without the bandit mask on. Of course, you could see he has some facial hair, some squinty eyes, maybe some scars. He's been in a few train robberies. Nice pant printing. Torso printing is really beautiful as well. Very, 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 very detailed figure. Here we have Lucky. He's got his pot of gold. Very short green guy. Has a really nice green top hat with the buckle on the front. He's got the orange beard because he's probably Irish. Really nice jar with three pieces of gold inside that just kind of slide in there. Really cool torso printing as well. And we have River Song with her helmet. He has a space lady of some sort in a pink suit. Has a dark pink arm. Very, very, very unique headpiece. Has a little bit of a shine to her lips. Really nice front printing on her. No back printing, unfortunately. She has the yellow hair. A lot of printing that just continues on throughout the whole suit. And she can also be geared up with her helmet on. And here's one of my favorite figs out of the series. It is the Genie. I really like how you can sit him on top of the lamp. And almost give it that illusion that he is coming out of the lamp. The lamp is a separate piece, really unique ghost-like bottom. Of course, we have the turban with the jewel and the blue face. As you can see, the lamp is a separate piece, so if you just want him carrying it around, easy do, easy does. And last but not least, we have William Wallace, the brave Scottishman. Wielding a sword and a buckler. Nice printed buckler. He looks very angry to be here today. Very Scottish styled printed torso. 
has a little bit of a kilt going on, plaid, nice armored front, his arms are hanging out, long flowing beautiful hair, very angry face. Also a great addition to series 6. We have a lot of great figures here, really really nice figures, they're all really amazing. Uh, my least favorite would probably be the gray alien, mainly because he looks kind of plain on his torso and pants. But all of them look really, really great, really, really detailed. A lot of very unique molds on pretty much all of these figures. So I'm definitely going to have to give Series 6 a definite build it. I don't think you'll be disappointed with whichever one you randomly pick. All of them look very fantastic. A lot of them have very unique molds which could be used for mocking or brick filming or just collecting. Plain old collecting would also work because there's so many unique pieces. You actually feel like you're collecting something. So this has been kind of a long review. I know there was a lot of details to be shown, but I think you deserve to see it because there's so many beautiful details on all of these figures. Great molds, great printing, all unique, very, very nice. So, this is the Doctor, and this is me, yet again, signing out.